good impulses. I've never heard of it. Apparently, it's someone checked that out, and it looks good. So, game starting now. On PS2, obviously. Yeah. Uh. Wow, he actually like. How did he oh, barely what? went through Phantom? He rolled through it perfectly. But yeah. Nah, he didn't. He didn't roll through it. He, like. No, nah, it looked like he rolled through it. I don't know. My eyes probably see me. <laughs> I have no idea. I think Bolero parried that grenade. I could see Phantom messing up grenade stuff a lot. Yeah, because it is push grenades back. The, the the another thing about this is Phantom has like a lot of different swings and a lot of different arcs. So like, uh, while Bolero can like react, oh whoa, he loves that, he loves that move. That's why he does that. He loves that move. So like, while Bolero can uh, react to uh, where the grenade is with his own Phantom, Bubble cannot. So it's like. If, if the grenade goes high, he can do like, uh, he could like swing it up. But if it goes like lower mid pace, he could like, he could do like the, the stab. Or like Whoa. the thrust. Did you see that? Yeah. Oh man, that was so funny. Ooh. This push towards the light. Wow, that. Yeah, no, that's like super duper quadruple negative on hit. Well, this is where. This is where Valero can kind of win? Kind of? Because, like, if, um, if Valero is able to, like, correct the high recovery, uh, not correct. If he, catch if it. He's, yeah, if he's able to, like, catch it well enough and, like, force him on the ledge, then you're kind of, like, screwed a snake. Because, like, you don't have anything special. But, like, he does have a knight. But, like, it's, it's whether or not he chooses to, like, cover ledge or he, like, takes center stage. Oh, I lose. I mean, that might have been the catch neutral get up. Well, like, he's barely off on that one, actually. Oh, wow. 50 to 8 or 51. Bobo is starting to run away with this lead. That was a really nice reaction. Yeah, if he just wrap it up soon, it's going to be. Wow. Oh, that wow. Was, that's nice. That was, that was greedy, though. I actually did not think that was that was, <laughs> that was super greedy. I mean, like, I get I get the idea of catching a two-frame. Still. Anyways, he's getting to those uh, percents. You know, I don't think Porto's gonna hit him. But Bobo's uh, using a lot more like tilt, not tilt. He's using a lot more like normals in this matchup, which is like you know, kind of like why not forehead? Because like I'll be right back at the play match. Oh, okay, good luck. Thanks. Try to get someone else for me, please. All right. Um, Bolero's starting to rack up the percent. Knight is disabled. Just kidding. It is there. Okay, oh my god. Yeah, this is, we're, at, we're kind of at the point right now where it's like, Bolero has to play like this. And like, oh. Oh, finally got that sweet spot on that. That's really unfortunate. That was a nice cover from Bolero. Another just nice spot dodge from Bobo. What a snap, what a spike from Bolero. Bolero, uh, he isn't kill percent. He will die to up tilt. He will die to up tilt. Um, I mean, he can still do it though. Zelda has like, Zelda can definitely rack up damage, especially with those cheeky new buffs and uh, her moves in general. There are a few things that'll kill right now, the edge cancel, and suddenly this game is even. Suddenly this game is even. That move lingers now. That move lingers now. I just smash four cloud up there. That's actually a lingering move. Claro, that work covered. That work. Stop the battle. Okay, so, uh, pre-patch, that could have been Sour Spot, and Bobo could have lived if that was Sour Spot. But now, we live in 2020, where it's 7.00, and that kill. And that uh, that actually just, like, that that interaction, that buff right there, that actually just won Bolero the game. So, Zelda buffs coming through, and, like, honestly, I think, like, the biggest buff is, like, Knight dealing more damage. Is, like, A? But that'll like that just deals with like that just gives like more shield pressure slash like creates shield break setups with like lightning kick aerials and B like getting more percent off of your like interaction that's just huge because like it's her main neutral so it's like buffing it is like busted anyways we're going to Smashville um I don't know why Bolero just didn't ban the stage 
Nice get up attack. No way. He almost died at like 80. That's crazy. Dropping a shield? I don't know. I wonder if that can actually like get him while he's recovering. Cause like obviously it can hit ledge. But like uh it might just like hit Cypher and then Bulma has time to react, but why didn't he kick it now? Valero's in a very, like, he can be in a very good position quickly. But right now he has to get past the ledge. Oh, there's what? Or there's whatever. Well, I think it is actually. Phantom barely gonna miss Bobo and uh. He's starting to rack the percent right now. 57. Zelda is light, that's gonna take the first stop. But like, he's still in a really bad position, but he just let that go, and suddenly 57 doesn't look too bad. I mean, at this point, I mean, like, Bobo's game plan is pretty simple. Just like, throw the, throw the explosive, see what he does, react accordingly. Great coverage. It's like, just that whole sequence. Wow, he hit the grenade. And that thing lingers five ever. And uh, the tables have turned. He's actually not taken a single percent since uh, he took Bolero stock. <gasps> that would have broken shield. That would have broken shield. Fun fact. Fun fact. That would have broken shield. It's just this patience by Bolero not doing anything. I love it. C4 firmly just kind of there on the ground. Bobo is just sharking, but to no avail. He's going to wait for something. I don't know what. Now we have quite the uh, quite the even game. This is going kind of going back and forth, to be honest. C4 on the center platform, a little bit to the left. There it goes. Now we just have a B button war. It's just kind of I don't want to say it's a B button war, because like it kind of because like I, I there is some nuance to it, you know. Not some, but like there, there can be a lot of nuance. I just don't know like too much of it. Like how the Phantom interacts with like not just the arcs of the grenade, but like how he can also use explosive flame or the side B. I don't know what it's called. He's dead. Lol. That was a great use of just like instead of just trying to go back to neutral, he just needed to force something right there. And now we have another even game. Not another even game, but another even situation. Blair is still up a game, keep in mind, and I think I'm like yeah, Bobo is definitely first seed. What the heck was that? That's huge. Or oh, that can be huge. Bobo got like a lot more, but I mean, he still is, he still is positioning right now. Shield poke. Bobo up a little bit, but like stock lead doesn't really matter too much. I mean, percent lead doesn't really matter too much. Just because like neutral is kind of the same. Good. That's also not good. Snake Dash attack actually trading. What the heck? Plero in quite the position. It's gonna be a major upset. Ooh, the grab the bit! That's gonna be it. Plero gonna 2-0 Bobo. And it wasn't it wasn't like 2-0 and